Hello everybody and welcome back to the Crafty Monkey channel. My name is Amanda and this is not Jerome, this is Jerome's brother Percy. And in this video I will be uh, showing you issue 3 of Daphne's Diary. Uh, as I've said before, Daphne's Diary is a sort of crafting lifestyle magazine. Um, you can only get it in the UK from uh, Unique Magazines. Uh, I am now a few issues behind in showing you, as I've said before, due to uh, various things that have been going on, I haven't had a chance to uh, film. But this is uh, issue number three of eight. So this is a uh, sort of spring themed. So this is the front cover. So you've got these sort of lovely florals. You've got your letter contents and then this is the gardens that they go to this issue um, in each issue uh, they tend to cover um, some sort of gardens botanical gardens or um, national trust gardens these are in France So you've got some lovely images that you can cut out. You could uh, cut this out, colour this in, laminate it. Got some you know, lovely pictures of roses. And then you've got a recipe for um, a pizza. And then, as I said, in each issue, you sort of get a little diary entry from Daphne, as it is called Daphne's Diary. This is the items to buy this issue. It's all sort of spring themed. Lots of yellows, greens, spring, summery colours. So I'm never getting rid of this section people uh, can write in talk about an item that means a lot to them this issue it's a sewing machine you've got this lovely poem uh, you've got this nice artwork that you can cut out and this is how to make a garden scene in a shoebox uh, sort of like a 3d element but kind of like those toy theaters you used to have these slide scenery in uh, if you didn't want to do it like that, uh, all of these elements could be cut out and used on cards and things. Um, you've got the garden, backdrop, fence, cat, little dog, and all the various flowers, garden implements. These are not already die cut, you need to cut these out. Recipe on how to make your own toothpaste. And then uh, an article about dolls. I'm not a big fan of dolls, I find them slightly creepy. Um, I used to have Cindy dolls growing up, but I never had these sort of dolls even when I was little. They creeped me out. Uh, I had a pram, I used to put my cuddly toys in it rather than a doll. I mean, that's just terrifying beyond all belief. And how to make your own gardening gloves if you know how to sew. I'm venturing into the world of sewing. I've bought a mini sewing machine. Uh, I haven't had a go on it yet, so we'll start with something small, I think. <laughs> and this is the featured artist. This is a woman who does uh, artwork on envelopes. A lovely sort of 3D quality to them. Again, you could cut all these out. We've got some animals for a garden safari. I apologise if you can hear music in the background. <laughs> and this is also the bath and body section. And then a sort of bird checklist. Colour this in. And then these are the stickers. This issue you only get four this time, but they are quite big. And uh, here they've used them to decorate a diary. So 
This is a place you can visit as a B&B. &B. Then some lovely images you can cut out, colour in. How to make your own pasta. And how to make a sort of like a garden truck or carry all. This is a bit more advanced. You'll need to know how to use power tools. Uh, so this is the page where you can um, subscribe to the magazine. Another little poem. And then this is star chart. You need to hang up. Um, so you write your names and their stars on there. So this is an article about people who do flower arranging, but they're more of a work of art than a display. And then some lovely images you can cut out. different items you can use for plant pots letters to Daphne people show off projects they've made using the magazine or projects from the magazine like a wire tree An article about perfume, uh, sort of through the ages, so it covers it from quite far back, but then it also includes famous ones like Chanel number five, seven, uh, four, seven, eleven. Then some recipes, so how to make a smoothie, and then how to make your own version of Nutella. Not for me. Not a big fan. All Daphne's diary entries. Article about gardening. Then article about Queen Victoria. Then this is how to make a quite paper pom pom. Step by step. an article about Denmark again some lovely pictures you can cut out and keep look like a junk journal and then these are the push out recipe cards so you've actually can have with vegetable and yogurt dip and a pear crumble cake for once, I actually quite like the sound of both of these. Not a fan of yogurt, but the rest of it looks quite nice. Uh, page to colour in. This is die cut, so you can push this out. And then it's been used as a stencil uh, with fabric paint, but you could use it as a stencil on pretty much anything. Give a little story for the issue. And how to make clay eucalyptus leaves. These look quite impressive actually. Also it doesn't look too difficult to do. Then sort of a colouring sort of puzzle. And an article about stamps. And then an article about shoes, all the different types. Uh, 
then an article about Paris. I've actually been here. One of my favourite places. Artist Square. Uh, when we went to Paris, we stayed not far from here. And we went up one morning before the tourists arrived. It was deathly quiet, but the view was amazing and there was no people in the way. <laughs> We were staying just behind the Moulin Rouge and we actually went to the Moulin Rouge as well. Okay. Article about how to do a tea for two. A little invite to invite a friend for tea. Poem, another colouring page. And then a cycle holiday through Holland. Again, some lovely pictures to cut out playing with a cardboard box. We all did that as children. We wanted the boxes more than the toys, with tents and rocket ships and all sorts of things. We had to make uh, one of these sort of uh, lanterns and the papers. You can use to make it. Templates on the back. The book of the month which is a very famous book which i've not actually read i'd like to read it i'm waiting for it i'm waiting to find it in a charity shop i will find it one day and then daphne's diary's website and then when the next issue will appear on the back cover So that's a quick overview of uh, issue number three of Daphne's Diary Magazine. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.